One of the most significant sort of oh, moments you have when you meet other people who are uh, first moving down the path of entrepreneurship is not starting building their product until they have a technical co-founder. They say, oh, I have an idea for X cool marketplace and I'm going to go out and I'm going to build this and it'll make tons of money, but first, I need to convince the technical co-founder to join your team. And then they spend the next five years trying to do so. And, you know, you think that's an exaggeration, and it's not an exaggeration. It can easily take five years to find a technical co-founder who you can sell on working on one of your ideas for free. Especially in Silicon Valley, where pretty much anyone who's mildly technical is being given 100k plus offers plus crazy benefits from a wide variety of well-funded tech startups. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that draws them away from those tech startups is the promise of starting their own company. Yeah, and most of them have their own ideas if they're not already working for a large company. Yeah, it's unlikely that you're magically more brilliant or more insightful than they are. I mean, they are the software engineers. <laughs> so, what I would suggest, and this is what we've done as co-founders, and it's something that... So the, I'll tell you what we did the first time, and we actually don't think that this is the way to go. The first time, we contracted out our technical work. Uh, and while we were contracting that out, Simone put everything on screen share so she could learn exactly what they were doing, and she never had our contractors work when they weren't working on screen share and walking her through everything they were doing. That helped make sure that they were always working on our product, but it also taught her what she needed to do to do it herself. Um, but then the second time around, you know, we just realized that the products out there today, if you're building a company that's not of a, a high technical level, like it's a company that's based around a website or just a marketplace or just a service, really if it's anything other than AI or hardware these days, you can probably figure out how to build the first version of it yourself. And even if it is hardware based, you can figure that out yourself as well by going to places like uh, Tech Shop, uh, which is a great place. I check to see if there's one in your area if you want to build a hardware product because they can teach you how to build a lot of, you know, functioning prototypes and even iterate on those prototypes at scale. Um, and like lightsabers like and other fun things. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so I would say, it, it, and I'm not saying learn to code. You know, that's what a lot of people say. Oh, if you're looking for a technical co-founder, just learn to code and do it yourself. No, find a way to do it without having to learn to code. Like, learn to use WordPress really well. Mm. Do you have any thoughts on this? Basically, you shouldn't try to build a highly technical pro product if you don't have that team already. It just, I've seen too many people do it, or tried to do it, and they never actually build something. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I know anyone who was a non-technical co-founder who recruited one. And Well, another problem with that is if you're not technical enough to develop this te high-tech product that you have in mind, you probably also don't understand whether or not it's feasible and what kind of expertise you need to build it like what technical language they should know or what experience they should have. So you don't even know how to yeah. hire someone. It's just not... The easy. only example I can think of off the top of my head is probably Airbnb. Um, but the funny thing is, is that with today's technology and WordPress today, you could build Airbnb without a technical co-founder. Yeah, or yeah. at least the first iteration so, uh, of it. Yeah, a very rudimentary version of Airbnb could be built today. To get proof out of, of the concept, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just think twice about it. <laughs>